Welcome back to the show floor here on PPMA TV, brought to you with Mark and Mimage. And joining me now is someone who is a, a, a show veteran, probably being an impolite way to put it, but it's certainly not your first rodeo. It's Phil from SCS. Thank you very much indeed for joining us, Phil. You have been here once or twice before, haven't you? I certainly have for quite a number of years now, more than I'd care to remember. Well, we are in our 33rd edition now, I believe. Uh, something that hasn't been here for all 33 editions is your combo check way a metal detecting uh, line hit. Tell us a bit more about what we're looking at. OK, what you've got here is a, a combo unit with a metal detector and a check wear all in one unit. And the best way I can ever show it is to demonstrate what I'm actually going to put across it. Well, we love a live demo on PPMA TV. So uh, what have you got in your hand there? Okay, I've got a, a, a product here that you can easily buy in any supermarket. Uh, and you can eat it as well if you, if you like them. Yeah, I'm not sure you're going to let me do that. Otherwise, it won't yeah. make it through the check way. But um, so we're going to put it through first of all. And let, let's see what happens. Here we go for weights then. We'll look at the screen and we'll see the pack pass over with the weights. Brilliant. So that was at uh, 200 grams. You've got your tolerance at, at 200 there, and predictably, it goes straight through. This is this is good news. And again, and we'll look at the weights again. There you go. Same weight every time. Okay. Very good. But of course, this is a combo. This is a double threat yes. check weigher and metal detector. So how about we run it through again? And this time, we're not checking for weight. Although adding a bit of metal will change the weight, I presume. A piece of metal, it's a ferrous piece, two millimetres, and I actually pass it through, and here we go. You can see that it sees it on the metal detector. The weight increased slightly, and it stopped it. Normally, it would reject it off into the bin. So 216 was the weight there, and just uh, if I can put my hand in here, let's take a look at what it was that stopped it. So within this bar here, you'll see there is a two mil. Whereabouts is that? Oh, yeah, just at the end, at the bottom there, there is that two mil little ball bearing of, of metal and that is what caused the reject and at the show here they haven't got the pusher putting it out into the metal bins so that's why the line just stopped but that there is a uh, it's handy I guess to be able to have both of these checks in one unit here it saves time saves space on a crowded production money. floor and saves money as well indeed it does it's it's a lot cheaper to have the two as a combo than it is individual now, this isn't the only way that you have of detecting metal in particular uh, from, from a contaminant point of view. You have an X-ray system as well that you, uh, that you can also bring. I mean, as we wander over there, why would you have an X-ray system? This isn't an X-ray system, I should add. Uh, one of the difficulties can be is sometimes that customers now have what they call metalized films or foils. And so if you try to put those through a metal detector, with, with metalized films you get a higher sensitivity. With a foil it's just impossible to do it with any great, great sensitivity. So what we do is we use an X-ray machine for that and we can get uh, an, a sensitivity of 1.2 millimeters on most products. Right. You've, you brought some product with you and you have literally sellotape some some metal contaminant to the top of it Let, let's see what happens shall we okay, so uh, here i've got a box and it's got some metalized films within it and so i've got a 1.2 millimeter uh, at the top here these smaller ones can't be detected by it because of the uh, sensitivity of the film so here we go i'll put it through them and you can actually see now there we the go detection. here we've got the 1.2 here we've got two millimetres, and here we've got 2.5. Very good. So in line, there was no stop there. That just that was a continuous process there. Yes. Uh, and that would, again, on a line, that would have been a reject, would yes. have been pushed into a bin or dropped because, into a bucket. Because this is for the show, we haven't put any reject devices on this. Normally, we'd add reject devices as and what the customer required. Good stuff. And this is, these are just two of a number of machines that are uh, all, all in the same way in terms of quality assurance, quality control that you have on, the, on your stand here. Um, as we were saying before, I'll tell you what, Phil, so you will walk into the stand with me. Um, you've been at the show for, for a number of years. Well, what, what keeps you coming back to the PPMA show? What's the value that you tend to get from it? We get some customers that uh, like to come and see a demonstration of a machine working, and they like to be able to talk to a technical engineer who can really answer questions about their products. And it's, it's that hands-on, face-to-face, 
I'm going to invest a chunk of money into one of these systems from someone, being able to see it in action and being able to ask questions and kind of, you know, kick it and prod it and push buttons before you invest in it is, is important. You can't put a value on that, really, can you? Uh, no, you... It, we are the, probably one of the better values as well in that you're talking to an engineer who knows what he's talking about with them and you're going to get what you need. Well, you've certainly given me what I need, um, which is a cracking demo, good chat, uh, and uh, yeah, thank you very much indeed for joining us on PPMA TV and uh, hope to uh, see you at the 34th edition of the PPMA show. I'll be here. Cheers. Take care. Thank you.